<laughs> Look at your hair. <laughs> Sit up. Oh my gosh. You're a bird's nest. Look away if you're frightened of cute little hamsters. Hey, Timmy. Hello. Precious. Perfect little thing, aren't you? Perfect little fella. Would you like a breadstick in a minute? Oh, what have you got in your pouch? You've got loads in there, haven't you? So sweet. Could clean you out, haven't I? Yeah. You're beautiful. And now look who we've got. Can you hear Margaret outside crying? Your pouch is full too. I love your little pink nose. It's so sweet. You're a little egg, aren't you? Oh, that has an egg. Oh. Oof. Well then, what on earth am I going to do when these little babies die? They're a year old next month. I'll never get hamsters as good as these two. They're so friendly. They're so friendly. They don't bite. Sociable. Got characters. They're lovable. They've probably got characters. They, they're really different. They like different things. They move differently. It's just so brilliant. You're so photogenic, Lucy. If I didn't have boobs, I'd wear a cupped bra with fluff in it and I'd walk around with my hamsters asleep on my chest. I would. I love them so much. Oh. For those of you who had to look away because you don't enjoy a rodent, and I've got to say, I don't enjoy some rodents. They're smelly and they've got weird feet and tails. Hamsters don't have tails. They have a tiny little pom-pom. And that rabbit, I've just seen it again outside in my flower border. Massive it is. It's grown loads, which accounts for the state of my garden. Oh, well, never mind. There's always an extra. Uh, anyway, those of you that don't like rodents, it's safe again. You can come back. Gardening again. <laughs> This morning, oh, I don't know what I've recorded and what I haven't. Oh, I've recorded some hamsters, haven't I? So this morning I dropped Wilf off at school. And then I went back to HomeSense and took back those things and got some replacement things, which hopefully are nice. They're in my car at the moment. And then I went to B&Q and I got some stuff. <laughs> I got these things. What I was after was just coast casters, like I've got on um, one of my apple crates. But they were, the ones that I wanted were £6.50 each, and I needed 4, 8, 12, 16. I can't do the maths. It's a lot of money. But I saw these. These are like little trolley things. You can, you can put plant pots on them and roll them around. And they were seven pounds. And they seem to work brilliantly. Look, I've already installed one. <laughs> Look. Multi-directional. How 
absolutely brilliant. You can probably tell by what I'm wearing that there's something a bit funny going on. Well, I'll let you into a secret. Putting together the vlog that you've just been watching, I only had five minutes of footage. And with a couple of days left of June, that just felt a little bit mean. <laughs> so it is the next day and I'm back out in the greenhouse. Might as well bring my bed out here. And I've got um, a little job that I'm gonna do. And uh, just to pad out this podcast, this vlog, I thought I'd do it with you. And that is, <laughs> I'm repotting this um, spider plant and it's babies because it's run out of space. Look at how root bound it is. It's getting a bit miserable. It's lost all its curl. The leaves used to have twirls and it's just looking a bit pants. Normally, whenever I do something like that, I use, I just use multi-purpose compost. But when I was at B&Q yesterday getting the wheelie things for my crates, so when I say yesterday, it will feel like today for you. I saw they had this um, houseplant compost. <laughs> Says on here, caution, always wear gloves when gardening and wash hands after use. I didn't get that memo. I'll just go get my gloves. And now I won't be able to feel a thing. <laughs> then, Maybe not today, maybe another day. I'm actually, I'm running out of energy this month for some reason. Don't know why, but lack, it, lack of energy isn't something I usually struggle with, I must admit. But I have been much more on my feet and go, 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 go. I think that's partly because there's just so much to do this time of year, but partly it's because when I'm vlogging, it really spurs me on. Because I say to you, this is what I'm doing today, and then that makes me do it. Whereas on a normal day, I might think, right, this is what I'm going to do today. And, and then I might not think about it again. But when I'm vlogging, I always come back to it. So I've just been generally, I'm always busy, but I've just been much more focused in what I'm doing. And I've been on my feet a lot. And my screen time notice came through and it told me that my screen time, even with vlogging, was down by 40% because I haven't watched anything really lately. Um, I'm just trying to think. No, I haven't really watched anything. Caught a couple of vlogs here and there while putting my makeup on, but that's about it. So I pus picked up some seeds to sow i've got verve oak leaf lettuce verve that's the name of the company i've got oak leaf lettuce here i like that sort of lettuce and i think this is the last this is the last month that i can sow it so i'll do one sowing each week for the next four weeks i've got some dill a bit late sowing that but I'll just do a couple and see how we go. It's always next year, if I'm still around. You can never take it for granted, can you? Then Rocket. I can sew that all the way up until August. Turnip. I wonder if I should successionally sew that as well. I think I will, just in case, because otherwise I get all my turnips all at once. Then artichoke, which I think you can't, you don't get this until next year or the year after. Where did I read that? Oh, so it says here, 
May and June, so I'm just in on the sewing. On the back it says May and June, but on the writing it says sew outdoors from March to April. Well, I'll sew a couple of seeds and hope for the best, but I've got 25 in here, so I can, there's always next year. And I can always buy some, it's Dean, one of the farmers. Um, I can always do it, I can always do it next year. All right, let's pot some, pot on some plants. Get ready for some plinky plonky music. And then it'll say, thank you for watching. Goodbye.